Hello, we're back. Today we're going to create a water droplet. So I am going to be using a... I will try to use five colors to do the water droplet. Um, for now we're going to create the outer layer. So that's the marsh black that I am using right now and then I'll be using this is going to be a um, blue water droplet it's not going to be white So I'm using the ocean green and um, blue turquoise. So the direction of our light is from here to here. I'll just smudge a hint of yellow in there, not, not much, but just a small amount of yellow. Then back to the ocean green in there. Okay, and then I will be adding my shadow. Um, for now, I will be mixing the titanium white and the marsh black. Since our direction of our light is going this way, so my shadow would be um, that way. Marsh black and titanium white. Okay, and I will be adding a small hint of white in the edge. So it looks like a grayish in there because I didn't really wipe my brush from the gray that we just created. not gonna be a lot it's just a little bit then I will add more of that blue turquoise so if you have um, paint in your brush just keep wiping it out because we don't really want too much in there There you go. So just keep trying. I mean, it's not gonna be, don't worry about it. If um, it's too much paint and it doesn't look shine in there. We, we want the, this area in here like a shine effect. So if you add the blue turquoise and it's too much like I did and it covers it, 
just redo it again until you have that shine um, going on in there. And we want to shine in here as well. So our blue turquoise in here looks like there is a like a boundary we don't want that we want to mix together really really nice um, so in the very top here where we have our light hitting I'm going to add that um, marsh black mixed with the, the turquoise the blue turquoise that we just used in here I'm just adding it that way. Okay, so then from whatever it's in my brush, I'm not cleaning it. I'm just mixing it with the titanium white. So it's going to be like a, a grayish blue. Then I will kind of add it in there at the top. Right, so it, I put too much, so it's kind of covering that ocean green and uh, yellow ish that we did. So I'll go back and add another ocean green, small one in there. Wipe your brush and then that small hint of yellow back in there. Okay, make sure you don't have like a, a boundary or like an edge, very edge sharp of um, different color. We want it blend really nice and well. It's like a, a marble effect. So just keep blending them, keep trying until it looks like a a smooth blends and we don't want harsh blends harsh edges to so take patient Try, try, you know, keep trying until you get that effect that you wanted. Alright. I think it looks like the, the effect that I wanted. So I'll be adding another layer of titanium white from this area here since it's getting dry. There's a small layer in there, and I'm adding another layer in here, titanium white as well. So, let's see, my titanium white is not so, it's a little dry, that's why it's hard to work on. So, I have titanium white in there, it looks like a will be look like um, a C section like it looks like um, uh, trying to describe it to you it's going to be like a a C in this area but wash my brush my brush has a black in there it's like that kind of section in there okay it's like a it's not really a trapezoid but 
it's close to trapezoid. So I'm adding the ocean green there. And I'll be adding the turquoise blue there. And then a hint in here. Uh, in this area here, it looks like it's very sharp and I don't really want it sharp. So I'm wiping my brush and I'm kind of blending it um, with whatever is already in there. It's a little dry and so I'm just kind of like blending it. Like that we don't want it harsh harsh on boundaries all right so I'm liking it now it looks like a reflection of our light then I'll add another layer of the titanium white in this section in here again um, I'm leaving it for now till it dries. Okay, um, let's add another white in here, like that. Not too much though. So I'm wiping my brush. I don't want any in my um, any paints in my brush, and kind of just blend it. This has got already white in there just to highlight that section in there but seems like I added too much so I'm adding again that blue turquoise and then I will add I'll wipe my brush and then I'll add a little bit of the titanium white so this is like trial and error until you get what you really want I just want a small highlight in there not a lot okay and I'm trying to make it like as, as round as possible okay And I want another highlight in this section in here. Not too much. And then I will be I will be try to kind of like dry it, then come back again and add another titanium white. Right, I'll go back here. I think this is dry and I'm adding another titanium white in there. Okay. And also this one in here. I'm adding another titanium white. Since the light hit this way, hit that way, and hit this way. So. And just keep coming back and add, you know, layer of that titanium white we can't really add it at one time so we just keep adding layer upon layer so I'll go back here I think this is dry and I'll go back another in the middle and then go back to the top all right so it's like a straight line <laughs> that light in there just hit our target You keep adding the white till you're satisfied. Just don't add too much at a time so it doesn't look kind of picky. And we don't want it like a, a dot looking. 
So that's why we're doing a uh, layer layer. So step back and try to check your work if it looks like needed to be adjusted then just adjust it. Alright, that's our one of our droplet. It's um a little round. You can also make it um like a tear teardrop effect if you want. So again just create a I'm I'm pretty much using just the marsh black. Okay, let's create like a teardrop like that section. Okay. And let's add the blue turquoise in the lower section of our teardrop. And then the ocean green on the upper section of our teardrop. Don't worry about it. If it mix with that marsh black, that's fine. Um, it's too much paint, so I'm just kind of taking it out and wiping it out. Wiping my brush to the rug that I have. So trying to blend them. And then don't forget your yellow your hint of yellow in the upper part of your teardrop which is a very small hint it will add like a, a small shine on our droplet just a section in there and then if it's too much don't forget to rub it in your rug or paint towel whatever you're using paper towel can be used as well and I'm just trying to kind of blend them it's pretty much the same what we did in the this section it's just a repeat what we did Okay, just like that, and then let's start. Let's start to create our shadow. Mix the titanium white and your um, marsh black. So let's do that way for our shadow. So the more you practice, the more you um, try making droplets, the more confident you have doing all this. So try making like 20 of this, same, same, um, Same step over and over. So it's just a repeat pretty much. Like I'm adding the ocean green in the bottom in here. Then I'll come back later on for the next layer. And I'm adding another one here. So it seems like my titanium, not titanium white, but my um, 
turquoise blue is a little dark so I'm taking a hint of that ocean green to highlight it a little bit So just keep adding layer. Alright, I'm adding another titanium white in our lower teardrop in here. I think it's still wet though. But yeah, that's fine. We just want a small section in there. Alright, another titanium white on the upper. This section here. And this section in the middle. So our light is going that way. Just blend the section. That should be good in there. I'm just trying to blend it, not too, too sharp. Step back. Check your work. What is it missing? And keep adding layer on this section until you're hmm. and I'm adding another white in there and white in there and of course in our lower part Right, our shadow is too blackish, so I will create another um, mixture of titanium white and marsh black and then just layer it again in there. We don't want it too, too dark, okay? Add some water if you have to, but don't add too much so it's not too runny in there. So I'm just adding another marsh black because it's too light. All right, I think that's a good, a good color now. All right, um, step back again and try to check your work and just modify it if it needs to be. Um, add some layer or you're pretty much satisfied that's that's good that's too much I think so I'm adding another darker blue okay let's keep adding that all right so I'm pretty happy with what we have right now so I call it done for, for that teardrop section um, we can add another layer not another layer another shape we can do an oblong if you want 
It's not all droplet or really circle or just all teardrop or just all, you know. So this one in here is a smaller section. So we can do like a oblongish kind. Like that. Wiping my brush since it's black, adding the dark color in the lower section, adding the ocean green to the upper section. So if your direction of your your um, light source is from here, going that way, um, going. So it's just a reversed, the bottom part would be your light and the um, upper part would be your dark blue. Or if your direction of your light is in the side, so your ocean green would be in the this section and then your uh, blue turquoise would be in this section. So know your light source. So, so you know which um which part you need to add your your light color and your dark color. So don't forget your hint of yellow, just a small yellow of course, yellow adds character, not too much though, we don't want it too much, um, adding another light in here, and a light in here, and of course our lower bottom. Okay, then we'll add another layer on that later on. So now I'm mixing my uh, Marsh Black and Titanium White for my shadow. So I'm going to be doing this way. So let's add that way. I'm washing my brush so I don't have that grayish color when I add this titanium white in the lower section. That part. Adding another layer in the middle and on the top. Right. It looks sharp right now. So I'm wiping my brush and I will try to blend that section in there. Okay, that's too much. I don't want it big chunk, so I'm just having that blue turquoise. Okay. Wiping my brush again, taking the titanium white and going back in my middle section. And try to kind of blend 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 so small small um amount of paint at a time in your brush so it doesn't blob in there and it's hard to blend them when they blob So that's too much, so I'm adding another blue. Cause I don't want too much in that section. Right. So it's pretty much like trial and error, trial and error. Because if it's too much, you have to fix it again. Then if it needs another highlight, you add another highlight. 
until you got what you want. Right? I think that one needs another highlight just a hint. Alright, I think I'm satisfied with what we have right now. So, this is pretty much what we use in this droplets that we created. We used the um, blue turquoise, the ocean green. Um, that's the titanium white. It's already got mixed with um, the marsh black. And that's pretty much it. And a small hint of yellow. So that's it. It's pretty much those colors that we used and keep creating um, keep um, practicing on how to do it the more you do it the better so those are the one we just created so thank you for joining me in this small section of how to paint a droplet and I hope to see you again next time follow me on Facebook and you have a blessed day Bye-bye.